Hello everybody, what's up? Cedric Concedra here, CRS and Commentary. We'll be answering viewers. We got a lot to go through, so we hope you can hang in there with us. Uh, first one was six days ago. And, you know, look, you you getting a little dog piled on now, Cedra, because, you know, you be saying the wrong stuff to people. And, you you know, you need to quit. You, I you ain't need, saying nothing to nobody. You, you, you say the wrong things to people, and it rubs them the wrong way. Uh, I know. I do it naturally. I need some Christian enthusiasts. No. Oh, so <laughs> who's being defended? Cage. And his name Christian? Not legally. He is not walking on AEW going by Cage. His name is Christian Cage. I mean, that's like your opinion, man. It's my opinion that he's not going on AEW can be called Cage. His name is John. What? Yeah. He's John Cage. John T. Cage. Did he drop the wackadoodle? No, there's no way I could do John T. K. Read, 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 man. Okay. So, <laughs> in this first one, is, is is Zemo because, you know, you just, you're a heel. I'm not a heel. Yeah, yeah, you are. Cage is awesome, Cedra. See, see, he already don't like you. <laughs> he, he spelled your name with an E. You spell your name with an E. Yeah, you know, I'm king in this house. Everyone spells their name with an E. I'm going to find something. Look, don't be throwing stuff at me. You don't, look, You're you lucky that I'm further away from you now. Look. Look, look, Zemo is, is Cedra, okay? <laughs> you can see it on the ads that's rolling. The little, you know, personalized ads for our stuff. The books are real. And... The other stuff is like, look, this is, I put it on, on the channel, but it's S I D R A. Cedra. It says, I can't believe you are judging him harshly because of his butt. <laughs> Honestly, the fact that you dislike him so much proves that he is doing the job right. He is the best heel in AEW, Nuff said. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know why you all are ignoring what I'm saying. I have said a number of times that he is a good heel. Obviously, everybody hates him. I was outside talking to a neighbor dog. You know what neighbor dog said? What? I hate that mother Christian Cage. I'm like, I know, right? Everybody hates him. Okay. So this is, I dispute the fact that he is assless and that his pacing is too slow. Everyone else's pacing is like stupid rapidly fast. There are many, many different variations between stupid rapidly fast and too slow. Yeah, okay, okay. But like he said, enough said, he won that argument. No, 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 there's no argument. What? I won the argument. How? He is assless, yes. He is a good hero. Wait, heel. wait, but that's yes. your opinion. He there are a lot of is women this like by all? There's a lot of women that think Christian Cage got an, an excellent booty. Find There's some men that think that too. Find me one. I'm not going outside. His tights, his wrestling tights are baggy in the back. Oh, that's because he chooses to. You don't <laughs> want to bust them open. That'd be embarrassing. There's a long way between baggy and busting latex, not latex, uh, spandex open. What, what are you thinking about? X, Latex? That's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> An X? X! Oh. Latex, spandex. Stay with it, man. Stay what? with it. I'm, 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 look, I'm just trying to you know, settle this thing and between you two. And what I'm saying is, the definitive things in this exchange is, yes, he is a good heel. Yes. He's an excellent he heel. He is disliked by all. Yes, he is. All mammals. Four-legged <laughs> and two-legged alike. <laughs> and third, he has no ass. Nuff said. But that's like your opinion. He doesn't have an ass, man. Look, his back just about goes straight down to his thighs. As a matter of fact... You know what? You need to stop body shaming. You need to stop body shaming. because that's I'm not that, shaming his body. Body shaming is, his is, is his body. very... 
is well proportioned. Body shaming Decent is very dude. un-American. It's He's very lean. un-American. He looks healthy. Okay. He just don't have a butt. It's just the reality of life. Look, look, look. Zimbo goes on to say, Brody King and Buddy Matthews would make for a good tag team. And, yes. and Buddy recently got married uh, to, uh, what's her name, um, on WWE. I forgot her name because she ain't been there. Uh, Ripley. Rhea Ripley? Yeah. The one with all the tats? Yeah. Okay, cool. You know, the big girl, like, she should be a movie star. The big girl, like, she be a movie yeah. star? Yeah. Not big, like, in chubby or anything, but, but she's built. solid. She's built up. Okay. She look like she can, you know, fight. Okay. And he says... She's not I, the one that's real stiff and walk like a dude. Real? She, no, she's not stiff in the ring. Okay, so she wasn't on the Clash of the Castle, right? No. Okay, cool. No. All right. No. Well, congratulations, buddy. Have some redhead cheering. <laughs> he says, I picked them as the next tag team champions over the Bucks. I think anybody in their right mind would pick them over the Bucks. Yes. They just have, they would just have to be allowed to wrestle. Wrestle without Malachi. Wrestle yeah. for something meaningful and worthwhile. Yes. <laughs> The treatment of the female wrestlers in the past is one of my reasons why I dislike Vince. Uh, and I'm thinking something about uh, Russo, I think. And this was before the allegations came out. So that's McMahon. McMahon yeah. <laughs> and years later, the company have the gall to push a woman's revolution in wrestling when they spent decades holding women wrestling back. I know I can't stand when things that's universal. I hate that. I hate that. Here, here's a quick example of one of the first few times. And I know I shouldn't have said what I said, but I was just, I was ticked off, all right? This takes place in high school. And we all got to get together. You, know, you got to pull your chairs around and work together in the group. Work in the group, yes. Yes. Yeah. So we was going to do that. And we in the class, right? Um, I mean, it's like, I think 13, 14 of us. It's a small classroom, and it's um, oh, I forgot what it was. It was was it health or something? But anyway, so coach asked us to get in the group, and whatnot. Okay, they pulled their chairs together, quickly leaving me out. Mm-hmm. And I mean, like they pulled together, like rhinos defending the the, the calves. Okay, <laughs> you agree. It was that tight, and I'm looking like, damn. All right, so I, I sit down. I'm gonna work by myself. Mm-hmm. I'm used to I'm I'm used to that happening. I don't know what happened at some point, or if I got a doppelganger. But man, I was hated in school. So when they did that, they knew what they was doing. They knew what they was doing. I sat back. I'm gonna work by myself, mm-hmm. coach sees it going down, right? Mm-hmm. They working. They all kind of took glances at me. I'm just going, I'm, I'm, by, I'm, I'm by myself. I pull out the book. I get started. I work faster alone anyway. And I know I what understand. they're going to do. And I know what they're going to do anyway. They're going to BS around. Or work individually anyway. Mm-hmm. And then next thing you hear the coaches, this don't count if all of you don't work together. And they pause. And they look at me. Come on, Cedric. Why, why are you out there? I said, man. And, you know, tell me to come on like I chose to not be involved. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Get over here. What you doing out there, man? Man, get over here, man. I said, man, y'all are stupid. I was, that, was the first, that was the first thing that came out of my They were like, stupid. And I kind of glanced with kind of like a, you heard what I said. I don't care about the ass whooping. I'm going to catch by all of y'all at the end of class. I don't give a shit. You know, y'all are stupid. I didn't say that, but that's the glance I gave, like, yeah, what you think? You know, give a damn. What am I going to do, get more hated by the same people? Mm -hmm. So they open up, and everybody works in silence. Nobody helps anybody. All right? And and so then, near in the class, the coach is talking about teamwork, right? (laughs) And... He's trying to get across to them, you should have started as a team in the beginning. Uh-huh. 
And they talking like, Cedric didn't want to be a part of it. We, we, we're trying to get him. We, we want him to be a part of it. We're going to call somebody stupid. I'm like, I'm like, man, seriously? I didn't say anything, but I gave that look. And I looked at the coach, and he looked at me kind of like, I see all the bullshit. Mm -hmm. But there's something going on that I he, You can see it. There's something going on I can put my finger on. I don't know what's going on, but that's y'all. And I'm like, I... You, you saying that's y'all and I'm like that's them because I have no idea what happened that been going on since I, I was in first grade I don't know maybe I got an evil doppelganger out there I don't know so I get what Zimo was saying with that you know you can't subjugate women all this time and then say we're going to have a revolution yeah y'all yeah. need a revolution it's like no that's dumb <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like I'm make all the cricket straight <laughs> yep the real revolution was in Japan with the Joshi and in the U.S. with the knockout division in TNA years later. The knockout division in the 2000s would, uh, uh, I don't know what you're talking would half the current female wrestlers in WWE to shame. Well, would put, I think he left out put, okay. would put half. And you know what? He's right. Yeah, he's right. He's right. Gail Kim, um, awesome or amazing Kong. Whichever you want to go by. Velvet Sky. Yep, Angelina Velvet Love. Sky. Angelina Love, before she became super vegan, she had meat on her body, meaning she could be more of a technical slash power wrestler. Mm -hmm. You know? And several others I can't think of. Yeah, right that was now. a lot. But yeah. That was a lot. Mickey James was in there too. Mm -hmm. You know, they, yes. Um, the Attitude Era was just a ripoff of VCW. Yes. It, and it was. And it was easy, but ECW ain't even a thing that people think ECW was. ECW had a lot of classic technical matches without furniture and, and other crap in it. They had a lot of that, you know. That's just not what they remember for. Yeah, they're not remembered for that. Um, Vince was just trying too hard to make WWF cool with all the 90s edgy stuff, yeah, and yeah. But that that was I'm gonna say that. That was like Vince Russo and Vince McMahon. Because the reason Vince McMahon allowed Vince Russo to do what he wanted to do, because Vince Russo catered to Vince McMahon's mentality about wrestling. He didn't want a professional wrestling company. He wanted a professional LOL acting area. They were both mutually stuck in adolescence. Yes. Stuck in teenage white boy adolescence. You said that, but I can't really disagree. I mean, they're white, they're male, so as adolescents, they would have been white boys. That, I, I, I mean, I'm just being accurate. I don't, I don't think Vince was born black. I don't think either one of them were. I'm not saying to be denigrated. I think, I think Vince McMahon was, was born as a very humbled African American. <laughs> and then in his teenage years, he became a little Hispanic. <laughs> and he realized money was the way to go. So then he turned a little, you know, he, he turned a little white. <laughs> but he wasn't white enough, you know. He had a little red pitch to him. So he had to get out the south and go up north and be with them. <laughs> and that's when that's when you got the Vince McMahon that's, that's just that's, white that's, with the hair. That's, that's his, hair used, his hair used to be long and black. It's, that's not how it works. <laughs> Usually you are what you start out as, <laughs> as oh. far as color is concerned. I got genetic wrong, don't I? <laughs> Race and ethnicity, you, you can't really just switch it. Well, what did my teachers tell me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, one of the reasons it is boring is because a lack of credible challenges. It is as you said, Cedric. Got my name right there. Yeah, cool. WWE have done a poor job building up new stars. Yeah. They can't do it. And I know why they don't do it. It sucks. Because they get a set number of stars for, for you know, for belt contention when it comes to um, their world titles. Uh -huh. You get your set three, two, five. Those that are stuck mid-carding your intercontinental level or whatnot or u.s title level or 
high end tag team level, those that would be singles singled out of that. Those are the ones that go after it in a very short program and lose. Those are the ones that would be like first Monday, they come in and attack the champion. Next Monday, there's a argument. Monday after that, they whoop that the champion whoops that person's ass and then the real challenger come out. That's usually how things like that would go. Um, but yeah, they they could build stars, but they're waiting for them. And plus, a lot of people don't look like they should be world champions. They really don't. <laughs> they don't. Uh, let's see. They pretty much buried the roster to keep Roman strong for four years. And now there is barely any new guys to challenge for the top belts. The fickle nature of the fans does not help the situation. Thanks again for the response. And you're welcome. And yeah, the fans are so damn fickle. It's, look, I know that puts a lot of people off. I do. I, I know that. But man, can you, why deny the very thing that goes on? You can be mad at me, but be mad at me for the right reasons. Not because I hurt your little feelings over what you may or may not have done or those are fans i'm a fan too so you're insulting me it's like if the fans are seeing two people wrestle there's a clear heel there's a clear face and they're cheering for both that means they don't have standards just, don't, just be honest they don't have standards and if they don't have standards and that's what they like own up to it at that juncture if you're owning up to not having standards of a who's a face, who's a heel, you just want to see cool moves or a great match or something like that, you can't be a hypocrite and you can't be fickle because you are stating what you like. Maybe they are from the generation where everybody gets a ribbon. Ugh. Because if everybody gets a ribbon, then everybody gets cheered. And no one is better and no one is worse. We're all yellow ribbon. Oh, yeah, that, you know, it wasn't like that. We were in school. No nope. field day. If you lost, you, you lost got nothing. You were losing. <laughs> if you, you know, won, you came in last. You got a first place ribbon. Be like, look at him. Come in last. You know, he's so last. Everybody else being done. Why you coming in late? And it's like, dang, you got to sit there and eat that. But if you give up and just say, ah, screw this and just do your thing and get just run to the end. They'd be like, why you give up? You, mm. you can't win because everyone's an asshole. That's, that's really what it is. Like, for example, you see somebody in track and field and everyone blow that person out the water. They still run. They'd be like, you know what? Screw them and sit over here and sit down. They'd be like, why you give up? Why you think? I, there was no chance of, of that person. And, and you know, if, if you're an asshole, that's what you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna be down on them for not completing it. But if you're not, and there are a lot, there are a lot of, of folks who aren't assholes, it's like you want to see them finish. Like watching the, what is it? The powerful 100? The st strong 100? The, the physical, the physical, physical 100. Yes. You know, there's a lot, of, a lot of the obstacles that they're doing where you know certain people are not going to be able to finish. But they don't quit. They keep going, even though they know that their finishing isn't going to result in them getting anything. They still get eliminated. They keep going. And to me and to a lot of people, I believe that's admirable. They don't have any energy. They probably pulled something. They dragging the leg. Or they're just not as fast as everybody else. They're still trying to finish. Later in life, when they get older, they'd be like, Man, that person had a heart. And it's like, you know, you could have said, said that. that then. Yep. And then, so we got somebody else. <laughs> Thank you for reminding what it was called. I couldn't remember the name. For, I couldn't oh, remember nothing but 100. <laughs> That's a good show. We enjoyed that. I didn't like the ending of the second season, but yeah, it, it, it is what it is. You know, at least it was legit. Check it out on Netflix. It's, 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 it's worth it. It's worth it. Um, so we get somebody... And it's written A L A one, two, three, four O's, a Y, and a seven. And I didn't know that was seven days ago, but I pronounce it A La Ooey seven. Okay. So this person says, 
Christian Cage is still one of the very best in every way. He should be the AEW World Champion. He gets nowhere near the credit he deserves. And Zemo says nothing but facts. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, they they against you. Did you did you put this this person up to this Zemo <laughs> to come in and speak about Christian Cage and Christian Cage only? Is that got nothing to do with that person? You don't know that. Yes, I do. It's a setup. Me and Zemo hang out. It's a setup. Oh, me and Zemo hang out. You know, go down to the, the coffee shop, chill, hang out. You know, think about ways to derail you and your rhetoric about Christian Cage. To derail me and my rhetoric. It's Y'all what can't do. be satisfied. We can't be satisfied. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. You cannot be satisfied. You are so hateful on Christian Cage. You had to find a body part to dislike on him it's because everything else is so part. perfect. Now I have disliked about Christian for 20 years. <laughs> you been paying attention to that man's ass for 20 years? I look what at dudes. What is the problem with you? Because I, I look at dudes. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do with you. You can join me, but you don't no. like looking at dudes. No, I don't. Okay, then. Shut up. I see the things you see. I just don't care. And see, if he had a big old booty worth looking at, I'd be saying that. Be like, man, I'd be like, I'd be. He's a terrible <laughs> heel. I can't stand him. He's got slow pacing, but he got a nice ass. <laughs> but he doesn't have one. I would be. I'd be like, he do got a nice. So booty, I can't and then move on. I can't say that. <laughs> you can say that. Zemo you are choosing Zemo not to find a good heel with a decent pacing and a wonderful booty, and we'd be on the same page. I don't think Zimbo wants to do the booty. <laughs> I, didn't say, I didn't say Zimbo wanted it. Just find one for me to be able to comment on. What's wrong with you? Hey, man, I'm trying to solve the problem. <laughs> you know what? She's trying to help us. Let's, Zimbo, if you can, find somebody. But see, now, now we're tasking Zimbo to watch wrestling for all these skills and to look at some dude's ass. Be, what are we doing to him? You know what, Zimbo? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't oh, do dude, that. Check out some ass. No. <laughs> no. It's, it, just, just don't, Zemo. Diversify. You always check out wrestling. We do, too. Check out some booty. No. You know what? <laughs> I wanted to do a bunch of these. No, we're about 20-some minutes. Uh, we'll do the next. We'll upload those right afterwards. Um, so we're going to... I'm going to get up out of here. So it's been Cedric and Cedric for CR Wrestling Commentary Answering Viewers. Y'all be good. Be chill. Be safe. And we'll see you next time.